somehow turned on this uh, activity zone thing. So, uh, yeah, nice view. This is going to be a beast coming back up. Uh, that's I should probably switch hands because that sound is annoying. I'm, I'm really not sure, like, looking at this map. I'm, I mean, it looks like this is the way I should be going. Um, but I didn't, I don't see Highway 13 on the map. And unless it's only Highway 13 going that way, then this is Highway 13. Um, so, yeah, not real sure. But I mean, I am supposed to be going through Mendota, so, um, you know, uh, here we are. <laughs> So this is supposed to be like Big River Trail or something, and I haven't really seen that. Um, so here's the bike ride. Okay, a Great Rivers Road. I think that's what it's called, National Scenic Byway. Let's take a look at this again. Well, it's Big Rivers, Big Rivers Regional Trail. So that's Great Rivers, not Big Rivers. Um, so there's D Street and G Street. Well, that would be, I wouldn't quite hit those. Unless, unless that trail is down there with the with the things. I'm really, really just not. So this is the thing that like, why I want to check out as much of the, like the cities. And I want to go down to like the Iowa place because that's close enough to like actually go before a big trip. Um, So I don't know, I guess I'm supposed to be on the road here. Um, yeah, it's not clear. I mean, I mean, it says trail. So maybe that's down there. Looks like a road down there. I don't see how you would have gotten down though and the signs were pointing. The bike route is that way. This map doesn't have a lot of like, I don't know where I'm going to hit. Okay, Big Rivers Regional Trail is apparently up there. So maybe I was supposed to go that way and then go up that way. Maybe that's what I was supposed to do. Okay, there's D, which it doesn't look like I crossed, but apparently I do. Um, okay, so it is up there. All right, so I think maybe um, maybe the trail was right, but it was just like too. Uh, I didn't go quite far enough. I think maybe. So let's go up there and see what I can see. Big rivers, so yeah. I guess. So then, where does this go? That goes that way. All right, that's cool. This might be a good time to turn around anyway. stuff to do. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Connected us successfully. Yeah, okay, yeah. It says 913A, not 13, which still a bit confusing so it's just good to know I haven't really 
had much need to follow this to know that the map can be a little confusing but it seems like the sign was actually correct but there's signs going going both ways which is a little bit confusing but so long it's because of this lack of transparency so for example hsbc makes about 900 million in revenue dollars from international transactions but Dang. their products are sold to so as a customer how can you make a really decision you already people because people yeah so you know I mean? it's like a, it's a completely inefficient market it doesn't function correctly in the market because customers decision makers don't have the information to act. so by making more transparent even if you choose not to use transparent you know, there's another thing that someone has to make it cheaper than us great because then at least customers can see well this is how much it really costs us to make a, a smart you know, decision on Products, Maybe the best way to think about this is so Skype is a great analogy. Mm -hmm. Think about all the different use cases that you might use Skype for. Just an almost endless list of reasons why it's going mm -hmm. um, Within business scenarios as well, the way through to it's going to be very, very clever. Cool. So, Transpoise is very similar. We have a huge, huge, huge range of, range of things. So, the main so this is the thing that I. Everything that comes living abroad. That's, that's a huge one. So, yeah. me as a Brit in New York. Well, this is the place where I went Transpoise. down over there. It's very fun. I'm sure you dog fooding that. Uh, so, there's, yeah, there's, there's my situation. There's anyone, anyone who's a migrant worker who's supporting a family back then. Yeah. So, yeah, we're having, we're having some real. I mean, maybe the navigation would have helped if I had if I had put a point on it. Uh, yeah. So the Donald Trump situation specifically, I'm talking about there is the fact that he basically. Yeah, it looks like people are cutting through there, but it's not really what the signs are telling you to do. Do you guys know? Does the greatest amount of remittance payments from the U.S. go to Mexico, or is it elsewhere? No, Mexico is going to the World Bank, which is the best source of data on this. There's 26 billion dollars a year goes from the U.S. to Mexico, to people, to people, which makes it quite large. Yeah, it's a really, really, really stupid thing to say. It's just completely outrageous. We talk about numbers, and in a way, the whole kind of Mexico is going to pay for that whole concept as well. I mean, my thing is already Mexico in the U.S. already have paid for it. They've already put billions and billions of dollars back into the U.S. banking system. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see well. You guys can probably see the uh, that up there. So I guess they do want you to come down here. And then, so what the hell is that one trying to tell us? That's what. I mean, I don't think that sign was right. So let's go see what the hell. Uh -huh. So I guess the whole thing is you're going up here and then going across. That's what's going on. Let's see. You have to have oh yeah. The only time I've done money transfer was on school trip when I was teenager. So yeah, um, actually that is what it's trying. Exactly. It is telling you to come over here. And so my parents and then, uh, what I needed. That's the only time I used it. I didn't even back. Receive it except to go to the post and of course it doesn't. So for and the confusing thing is it doesn't have a, have a sign here, but I guess in the end it makes sense. So yes, we're virtually virtual I think in this case I was too familiar. <laughs> well, see, those will tell you won't go one way and go the other. It's kind of confusing. Well. Center, but now, of course, I run the risk of running into something, so uh, yeah, I guess you get St. Paul one way and Minneapolis the other. I 
out there. I go straight and I'm not sure how I'm gonna get back. Well, but there is a trail on the other side of the bridge, or on the other side of the river I was seeing when, uh, when I was looking at the map, so maybe this goes there. I don't know what ridge is the trail. to help out and get back and help with the cats. Go up here to this turn and see what I can see. I've never been on this, I don't think. So if we can have that, you just tell me a bit then. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm so excited that you guys are moving. Just walk back with us so we can hang out. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Okay. So can you... Yeah, that's nice. Where does this go? Ah, oh, so you can take your bike. Oh, yeah, you can ride your bike down there. And then go across here to St. Paul. Oh, and then there's a trail over there. Maybe. Uh, I think maybe I'm not that adventurous today. Um, but some other day. That would be good. Uh, Hello, I'm Kate Christensen, and this is Rise Radio. I'm curious about technology and the future of money, so each week we're going to explore the latest in tech, from dollar bills to million dollar deals and the technologies that make it all happen. I am 
start out with security questions, the kind of questions that robots ask you when you create your password about your favorite sports team or the most memorable year in your life. One of the things we do, actually. It's like how you start your daily stand-up. It's one of the things I'll find. Our product. Of course. Challenge questions. Can't wait to talk more about that. Well, these are perhaps not the kind of questions that uh, you do with your product, but I was wondering what was your first instant messenger screen name? Or what was the screen you're speaking? I don't know about you. I have this guy. I don't know if I remember what you're saying. Mine is always the same. It's still the same. Like, I use my screen name for everything. It's Tomas and RBC, and it means a very, like, I think I can barely even remember. And like, so my friends all go, they fancy me. Sure. They created, but my name was Tomasi, and uh, RBC is the firm, just so that's what I still always remember. I think you clearly remember. Yeah, I do. I don't know what you And as I still get glass, I get really close to my email address. I do a lot of things. Mine was really boring. Mine was like my initials plus some combination of numbers. No, it's my partner. Actually, it's my partner. Oh, yeah. It's my partner for everything now. But before that, I got in eight random numbers, which I don't like because it's supposed to be LS. This is where I saw a snake once. Probably not this early in the season, though. Wow, so you guys, I was talking about a little fun here. We were pretty... Yeah, it could be fun. Yeah, it down, so we could Yeah, okay, well, so you guys are beloved by many at Rise for bringing an Nintendo 64. I've heard for many reasons, but particularly for bringing in the gaming system. <laughs> and I think it's a Mario Kart on your team, and do you have different strengths, like different game strengths, so like if one of you really good at GoldenEye, and someone else is good at it, that you are racing. So, so the best at Mario Kart is definitely more important than Nick. Mm -hmm. So I'll take a picture of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah my proxy. Yeah, yeah, I am. So it's really more, I guess, that's even more important. It's about to be, because we actually came by one time, and we played a tricky Mario Kart game, and I won't necessarily go all the way to, but you really came for fun. Yeah, and it was really embarrassing, especially for me. And then uh, Scott is one of the all-time best Super Smash Bros. players. That's a very technical game. That really reflects the skill. Yes. That's lack of reps. So then, it's cool. Yeah, well, I don't know about this guy, but then one of the other guys, Alex, is the best Mario Super Smash Bros. player. You guys look for this one. Uh, I just have the pack of records. Oh, very exciting. I think I saw the photo booth record. It's like most in college photos. Oh, yeah, like most inventive photo shoot. Oh, that's cool. Maybe, yeah. What was it called? Watch it first. I remember, like, first of all, like, Metallic Party. But to summarize, none of us are good enough to be the best at anything we play, it turns out. Okay, well, you're good at starting companies. Okay, so you guys deal a lot with acronyms oh, like man. APIs and KYC, AML. I'm just Can you like, I'm crying for the, like, the wind nephew, coming down. Really it's a really good time to be wearing some glasses. Yeah. yeah, so Ooh. you go to a bank. I mean, not really crying. You say, I want to try to get a check ID. They're going to try to make sure they know who you are. This, this, is, this is kind of a known process. It's the same thing that happens when you go to get a loan, anything like that. Online, that's extremely difficult. You can't stand there with your ID and they can look at it and they can be like, yeah, it looks like you. And then look you up in a database really quickly and just like, you know, make sure there's no red flags and then give you a bank account. It's just, it doesn't work that way. On the internet, nobody knows you're a dog and they certainly don't know who you are you say you are. And so there's this requirement when you sign up for a bank account or a loan or, or Venmo or PayPal or anything that moves money. Um, when you sign up for it, there's this requirement called KYC, which means you know your customer. And it means that PayPal has to know who you are to a high degree of confidence. And they haven't stolen your identity that you're signing up for the, the service with. It's a regulatory requirement. Yeah, it's a government mandated regulatory requirement. Jason Bourne prevention. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. And that's actually more 